Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of May. Now, keep in mind that not every reading is for you, and this could happen at any time in May, okay? Could happen, you know, the first week of May, could happen the last week of May. I may say week during the reading. This is for any time in May. I say week sometimes by accident because I do weekly sometimes. And so if that comes out, then whatever. So what do we have for a message for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? What do we have for Pisces? causes accidents so people often think that this uh, is in regards to a vehicle you know you're going down the road and you think speeding is driving fast as we got somebody going down the road okay speeding is uh, more than just driving in your car okay you're hurry you're in a hurry obviously you're in a hurry you are moving too fast whether you are working too fast you're doing something with your hands you're doing too fast it could cause an accident you could be cutting vegetables you could be uh, installing something okay or doing something and you're moving too fast this is a message to slow down because an accident could happen if you are moving too fast and it doesn't have to be vehicle related. It could have to do with you're, you're in a hurry, you're in the store or you're at home and you trip over something because you're in such a hurry and not looking where you're going, you're moving too fast. Somebody is moving too fast and there could be an accident and there's a need to slow down, put it that way, okay? This could also have to do with a relationship. Moving into something too fast. Slow down is the message. This is in the past position. Something, somebody may have gotten themselves into a situation which has caused an accident. And there's repercussions, right? There's consequences for jumping or leaping or moving too fast. Thank God I don't do that. I'm earth, so I move slow. Anyhow, what do we have for Pisces? The lovers, the lovers, unexpected choice in love. The lovers is a deep connection. It's a healing love. It is a partnership. It's also a card of consequences, which is interesting because I mentioned consequences here. This is a major choice in love, okay? And, or a major choice in a partnership. It doesn't have to be, you know, people got to look beyond the, you know, the face value of the card, okay? Look beyond the face value. This is a partnership. It is a union. An unexpected choice in a partnership. A union, okay? I do believe that this is a major choice. It's probably a perfect match. You may be uh, seeing eye to eye with somebody or partnering up with somebody that you have some sort of deep connection with. Could be a friend. Could be a lover. Whoever this is, it's somebody that you have some sort of familiarity to, okay? And that is right now, it is in May. This is in your now position. I feel like maybe in the past you may have rushed. Don't rush. Don't rush. Take your time. Take your time developing a connection with somebody, okay? Um, this is a deep connection, and it could be, it could be love, Okay, but it could also be friendship. All right, this is somebody that you have shared values with. Let's get one of these. I 
I feel like you have an unexpected connection here. Oh, here it is. Soul Solitude. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure. I think Taurus got this. I can't remember. I did it so long ago. I could, I could be. I don't know who got this. Somebody else got this. Uh, soul Solitude. Your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet, a place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, and a time for you. It reminds me of my name, you know, the soul source tarot thing. Anyhow, soul solitude, your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away. This is in the future. This is reflecting on a partnership. So you may be reflecting on a partnership right now. Oh, I got to show you what's on the bottom. I just happened to look. Relationships. Relationships are just mirror images of your own life how you feel and treat yourself, as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. Interesting, because I, 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 there's soul here. There's soul here, and this is a soul, it's like a soulmate connection. And yes, your friends can be your soulmates. So there is a soulmate connection here and reflecting on a soulmate connection, a soulmate relationship. So this is definitely a time of um, opportunity and uh, reacting and responding and going within to react accordingly. The message I get right away is go slow, take time, take time to get to know, to to engage, to uh, learn and listen. Um, I think you're going to be deepening a connection with somebody. There's a very familiar energy here. You may you may be with you may be getting together with somebody that um, you have some sort of. Well, it's obviously a soulmate connection. It is. But your soul needs attention. And it says, this says, it's a time for you. Soul solitude is different than the lovers because the lovers is two people. Maybe you need to reflect on what your soul needs, what your, your soul wants. How you feel and treat yourself as well as how you react and respond to different situations. I feel like you're gonna be needing to, this is a major choice, the lovers is a major choice. You're gonna to need to make a choice in regards to a relationship, okay? I feel like you've rushed into something in the past and maybe that's a lesson. Pisces for May at any time in May. There could be a reunion here between soulmates. Six of Swords reverse. This is stopped. Something is coming to a stop. This is troubled. It's trouble, okay? This is troubled waters. This is refusing to take a new approach. Something coming to a halt or no movement. I, I wonder, hopefully it's not an accident. Six of Swords reversed is no, not moving on, not going in the right direction. Hopefully somebody's not driving in the wrong direction. Um, Six of Swords reversed. Or they, maybe they haven't been going in the right direction. Somebody hasn't been going in the right direction. And that's a, maybe that was an accident. Very, very troubled. Let's get another card to go with that. 
Six of Cups. We are talking about the past, reminiscing about the past, thinking about the past. That is the past. And this is a soulmate connection. And this is thinking. Somebody is is has rushed into something in the past. And I think that now they definitely need to reflect. And they are reflecting on a partnership of the past. Troubled. We have troubled waters here. We have somebody here that is very, very troubled over a past. Accident or something. They've made a mistake. Somebody has made a mistake. Six of Cups is reminiscing. It is in the past. And it's interesting because sixes are the journey to balance and harmony. We have one upright and one reversed. There's disharmony here about the past. So there, there is definitely reflecting over a partnership. Hmm. Queen of Cups, emotions, expressing feelings, temperance, it's time, divine timing, healing energy, accepting and allowing. It is, it is, it is, it is I feel like there's some sort of um, intimacy here as well. Somebody has learned a lesson from their past. Or they're about to. I feel like it's going to be a very emotional time. It is. I think because it, it, I do. I feel like it's going to be a lot very emotional. There's going to be a lot of memories. There's a lot of reminiscing. A lot of thinking. Very troubled. We have a troubled past here anyway. I do feel like there's a healing energy here though. Or, or a healing love. Because this is very healing and, and it's love. Okay. We do have healing love here. This is receiving something better, you know. This is an exchange. This is uh, everything happens for a purpose. This is evolution, evolved. Somebody has evolved through some sort of death because death comes before temperance. The death card comes before the temperance card. So there obviously there's been a change. There's been a death. There's been an ending of a partnership that has taught somebody a life lesson and now they have evolved into something better and I, I do believe there is going a, a receiving something better or somebody is going to be receiving an offer I don't even know it could be from somebody from the past um, anyhow temperance is a card of um, compromise blending to create harmony so I do believe there's gonna there's a need to um, accept something. There's a to allow something to come in. I feel like there's there there is there's acceptance here. Healing, very very healing energy. We have a healing love energy here. Somebody could even be falling in love, you know, and this, and it, it could be a friendship. It could be a friendship. I mean, the queen of cups, it's very emotional. It's very loving. It's and, and somebody may be also dealing with a healer, somebody that is, you know, um, you know, could be somebody that is psychic or something like that. Eight of Cups. Now that is in the future though. This is saying goodbye and, and being alone. So I wonder if somebody is leaving a partnership because I mentioned temperance comes after death. We may have somebody that is very emotional over something that is ending. They got into it very, very fast. And I wonder if it's something is, is coming to an end and it's very emotional. It could be the end of a partnership. i, I got to be honest with you. The Six of Swords reversed. It's trouble. Okay, it's trouble. It's, it's needing to take a new approach but refusing to do so. And it could be repeating mistakes of the past. 
It's interesting. This is follow your intuition. It's a need to go within to heal over a partnership. So I'm wondering if there is something that is happening that is going to cause you the need to go within and heal and to accept and allow that something has ended. There is a new partnership here or there is a there's emotional support or something like that. This is saying goodbye. The eight of and that is in the future, okay? That is saying goodbye to an, an emotionally disappointing situation. It is a uh, it's hard to do. It's really hard to say goodbye. It's painful, but you have to. So this is saying goodbye to somebody. It is. I mean, I can't change the card. There's been some illusion. There's been somebody has made a poor choice, right? They've uh, and now somebody is saying goodbye. And there is going to be a need to heal. Your soul needs attention. Maybe you need to go within. You could think of this as the hermit card. You need to go within. You need to go within to heal. This is a time to pause, to reflect, and a time for you. There is healing energy, healing from a goodbye. So you may need to just spend time alone to focus on self-love. The Queen of Cups is self-love. For some of you, you may feel like, you know, that you must have somebody, but that's not the case. Okay? It's not the case. I feel like there's healing over a previous soulmate that is needed. And perhaps maybe you have sped into something too fast, you know, and you didn't give yourself time to heal. And it is a time to accept, obviously, that something is over. You may need to accept that something is leave, that somebody is leaving or they've left or something like that and go within to heal. Um, temperance is a card of evolution. It's a card of divine timing as well. I got the moon in reversed on the bottom, which represents your energy. This is truths are revealed. This is no hiding. You can't hide the truth. And it's interesting because it feels like we have somebody here that is reminiscing over the past. And when I said that way back, I was going to say you can't hide from it. You can try. You can try to say you're not hurt. You can try to say, I don't care. <laughs> Bull. That's a lie. There's self-deception here. And I feel like there is some sort of reality. The, the moon reverse is a reality check. This is truth being revealed. It's truth coming out. This is... Uh, Clarity, something that has been very troublesome, that may have been causing you a lot of um, imbalance or maybe, maybe you were involved in some sort of nightmare with somebody. I don't know. I feel like that nightmare, whatever it is, is coming to an end. You're going to need to go within to heal. I mean, the moon reversed is something being revealed that was hidden. Somebody may have been blocking their emotions, you know, trying to fight their emotions, extremely emotional. It just It feels like blocking to me, blocking the truth. The moon reversed is a reality check. A reality check is coming. Healing is needed. You need to go within to heal and focus on yourself, self-love. But I feel like you have been very, very focused on a partnership. And I think it's been a troubled partnership, honestly. And you have to make a major choice. There is a major choice that is being made. And this is not going anywhere. Something is not going anywhere. The trouble isn't going away. The thoughts aren't going away. It's like there's a lot of thoughts that aren't going away about the past. 
and it's because you need to take time to heal rushing in rushing into another relationship and I don't know if this is you just because you don't want to be alone is not the answer anyhow I feel like there is some sort of something has happened or it's or it is going to happen that is going to bring you some sort of conflict the six of swords or trouble or something like that I feel like you're gonna need to focus on yourself you're gonna need time to go within to heal somebody could be saying goodbye um, there could be somebody you could be dealing with somebody that is rekindling with a person from their past You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio like yourself, Gemini. There is an unexpected choice in love, whether you're making it or the person that you're questioning is making it. Somebody is going to be getting themselves into a new contract. And maybe they're getting themselves into a new contract because whoever they've dealt with has refused to take a new approach. This is somebody that is very troubled and, and needs to heal, but they haven't. Their healing is really, really, really needed this month. I feel like you're going to be healing from some sort of emotional situation. It's very emotional. You're going to need to accept and allow that this has happened, whatever it is. Seven of Pentacles reversed. This is a dead end. Okay, that's a dead end. It's unrealistic. That's dissatisfied. Right on top, right on top of the Queen of Cups. I feel like you're going to be in your emotions about something that has not come to fruition. You may have invested and wasted some time on an individual that maybe it was short-lived success it looked good but there's no fertility there I feel like somebody has rushed they rushed into something without thinking and now is it's a time to heal it's time to plant your seeds someplace else this is a time of change for you you're gonna be experiencing a significant change this month this is like a it's like a dead end. It is a dead end to that seven of pentacles. It's it's a there's a need to go someplace else. Somebody I feel like there's relocation here as well. Somebody may be relocating, they may be leaving, they could be moving. Could be a partner, somebody that you have partnered up with in the past. This person may be rekindling or or developing a connection with somebody else. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. And it could be very, very emotional for you. Page of Cups reversed. Page of Cups reversed is not good news. This is unrequited love. It's a bubble burst. It's it's uh, a rejection, tears. There's some sort of rejection here. I do, I do feel like there is some sort of uh, uh, sad news that is coming. I hate to say that. Somebody has their heart set, and and that is in. Uh, Maybe it's whoever you're dealing with. I think it's whoever you are dealing. Whoever you are dealing with is not emotionally available. This person may have changed their mind. They may have. May they may have. This is unrequited love. I feel like there is somebody that you invested a lot of time in that did not reciprocate or is not reciprocating, and they're leaving or they left, and you need to heal from this. And I think this is a time of healing, and that is what I have, Pisces. I feel like uh, we have the Five of Swords in reverse on the bottom. This is somebody that is looking out for number one, that uh, has no moral conscience, that doesn't care if they hurt you, and I feel like you need to accept that and walk away or let them go. 
admit the defeat. I feel like this is the end of a battle as well. I think that there's been a lot of fighting going on or struggling going on. I mean, this person, somebody's going away. This is somebody that is very, very, very troubled. Or there's just been a lot of conflict or, you know, fighting, extreme, extreme fighting. I feel like uh, this is going to be a time of accepting and moving on from something that you have not fully healed from. And I feel like you have been, or maybe you're going to be healing from something, a separation that happens this month. This isn't about love. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that has not reciprocated your love. And that takes time to heal. For some of you, you're going to be receiving or you're going to be connecting with somebody that is a perfect match for you or the person that you're dealing with is. There is a perfect match here. It's either for you or the person that you are questioning, the person that hurt you. There is a, there is a perfect match here, but there's also a goodbye. That goodbye is in the future. I feel like there is somebody that is is leaving your life, unfortunately, because this is this is them. That's the outcome. This is saying goodbye that puts you in a place where you need to reflect and re-identify and heal from this goodbye. So yeah, I feel like you're going to be healing from some sort of departure that has been prolonged. I feel like I feel like. Um, Somebody is connecting with an individual from their past as well. And they've been thinking about this person from the past. And this could be somebody from a past life, okay, with the Six of Cups. It doesn't have to be a past lover. It could be a friend, like I've said multiple times. It's definitely going to be an emotional time because something is coming to an end because there's no growth. There's, it's, there's no success. There's no success there with the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody invested in something that wasn't fertile. They rushed into it without thinking. Whoop! So I feel like it is, it is a time of healing still. Good luck.